problem I've got is, is, if you remember, I was tapping on this and you can hear it ring and kind of sound loose. And the problem is, is, let me see if I can get the camera to play nice. There we go. This screw hole is chewed out quite badly. So the screw just fits inside and kind of wiggles around. So what I'll probably do, aside from cleaning the butt, and you can get a good shot of the dovetail here, is uh, I don't think I've ever seen it done before this way, but I'm gonna do it this way because I want it to be a permanent fix and I want it to be a, a high quality fix. So the first thing I've thought of was why don't I helicoil it? Well, it's not metal first of all, so that's my first problem. My second problem is, is kind of ghetto because then I have to find a helicoil that's met that'll match this hand cut screw that ain't gonna happen so I thought what if I replace the wood and then I found these these are Miller stepped walnut dowels found them on Amazon and they look like this they're crenulated and you can see they got three steps in them I don't know how well that's coming out. They got three steps in them. They got a nice flat back to them. And the company that makes these also makes this. So this is a stepped drill bit to match the profile of their dowel exactly. Right there. See that cut right there, right here? So the plan is, is I'm going to come over to this side of the, of the butt and I'm going to insert this about yay far. So it's not going to punch out the other side. Right about there. Yeah, right about there. And then I'm going to acroglass the hole ever so slightly and I'm gonna put a thin layer of it on here and then we're gonna drive this in flush we're just about flush I know it looks like it's gonna break through but it's not so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the entire bit of wood and then drill a hole in the middle of the new dowel the diameter ever so slightly smaller than the screw of the rear butt plate and then feed it into here. And it should become a permanent fixture. Now normally I don't film that process because we can't do how-tos. So it's gonna be done in a series of photos. But essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all the boiling at once and to make best use of my time, while that's boiling, I will go ahead and drill that and tap this in until it sits flush and then I'll let that sit and cure overnight and then we'll punch the hole in run the screw back in and that should be a permanent fix I know that seems a bit scary about how close to the edge that is but if you look I've got over an inch from that end to the end of the stock so I don't think it's gonna break through or anything. I'm just gonna do it low speed, take my time, get the hole all the way in nice and clean and straight. Thankfully, I can use the original hole as a guide, so most of the bit will go in already. And then just finish it off. And I'll just punch that with my little 19 volt Makita, and we'll get that underway. So uh, sit tight, enjoy the montage of still shots, and away we go.